Well, Ryan, four games into your Derby County career, I think it's fair to say it's going pretty well so far. How are you finding it? I'm enjoying it at the moment. Like um, it's been a great start for myself, and um, like I said, I'm enjoying it. Did you expect to play so much so quickly when you came in? No. Um, like I first said when I first came in, I didn't expect to even start the first game against Carlisle, but um, obviously the gaffer entrusted me to start, so you know I showed that I was really I was fit through that game, and I'm you know happy just to be playing. I was chatting to Tyrese Fauna after his first couple of games back, and he said the body was feeling it a little bit after having a, a spell without a game. Were, were you the same? How was the body? Uh, I, I was not too bad actually because. I managed to get uh, two games at international break just before I came down, so body-wise I felt okay. Obviously the last game I was a little bit fatigued and now I still feel a little bit fatigued, so, but hopefully the international break can give me a little bit of a reboost after. And do you feel as though you, you, you've quickly got up to speed and, and got to the level that, that you can play at, or is there more to come, do you think? Um, I'm not at the full pre-season, so I'd probably say there's a little bit more to come because Normally, when I say I have a full pre-season, is when I'm at my best. Um, so I'm saying after this international break, hopefully, when I can, my body can regenerate a little bit, and then reset the go again. I think um, there's more to come. Is it about you know, putting hard work in during the break to get those pre-season levels, basically? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, when you're training a little bit by yourself, it's completely different to when you're training with the lads in in, um, in, uh, in training. You know, there's bodies around. It's the little small sharp movements. It's those are the things that you miss in off season, you know, I can do I can do long distance running all day. It's just those little bit of sharp movements, body contact that you know that you miss. Have you found the guys, the group? Yeah, amazing. You know, they've helped me settle in very well and you can tell, you know, um the, uh, I've been playing comfortably in the team so uh, you know they've helped me settle in well. And the fans have taken to you very quickly as well. Has that been 100%, nice? Andrew percent I've noticed it. So um you know it, that's an actual bit of boost for me as well. So it's it helps. It's a big help. And the team's on a good run, six unbeaten, I think. I know you were disappointed not to win on, on Saturday, but are you able to sort of step back and look bigger picture at things? Yeah, 100%, of course. Um, you know, when I first came, I said to you, it's League One. It's, it's, it's tough, man. It's, 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 a, it's a tough league to get out of. And, you know, obviously 1-1 one, one isn't, uh, isn't the worst result in the world, but we wanted to win the game. we just got to keep being, um, you know, resilient and, you know, take our chance the next time. EFL Trophy on, on Tuesday night, I would assume you approach it exactly the same as you would any other game. Yeah, 100% because you want to be successful in it. So if we win on Tuesday, you know, that's another little boost for us, you know, for, for the lads, some of the lads that are not been playing as well. It can be a boost for, for everyone in the team and it's a long season. You're going to need everyone to be fit and ready to go. So, yeah.